it's real easy to mistake bits and bytes. And it might be a lower level technical issue, but it has some really important implications. So for instance, this camera over here says two to three mega little bit, which means bits, megabits per second. However, we have the same camera running on a VMS and it says 300 kilobytes, big B. So if you look here, this and let's just basically this kilo basically in terms of meg. So this is basically a point point four or point three megs. So this camera, same camera, same settings. This one is saying it's point three or point four, point five, and this one's saying it's two or three. So now, how do you have the same camera with the same resolution, the same frame rate, the same quality? and yet the numbers are sort of way off between two outputs. Is one simply wrong? Unfortunately, they're both right, but it depends on looking at the B. And here's the key thing. Whenever you see a lowercase b, a lowercase b is bits. A capital B is bytes. And there's a big difference between them because eight bits is equal to a byte. Now that may not mean anything to you practically, but let me show you now how this relates. If you take this 200 or 300 kilobytes and multiply it by eight, you get about 2.4 or 2.6 megs, right? In the same range as this. This shows you why these two are off. This becomes a lot more important, for instance, if you have a lot of bandwidth. So if someone tells you, for instance, you have 20 megabits or 20 megabytes, that's a huge difference because 20 megabits is fine running on pretty much any on any sort of you know Ethernet switch. However, 20 megabytes is equal to 160 megabits, which could have a problem on a lot of lower end systems. So keep that in mind. Bits and bytes, lowercase v b versus capital B. Have a huge difference. Even though normally if you see lowercase b or capital B, you just sort of would ignore it. But in networking, it's really, really important. So final word here. Why do you have basically, or why do some people use bits and some people use bytes? Well, it's pretty, pretty simple in terms of how the rule of thumb works. Bits are used mostly by networking engineers or people in networks. So if you want to talk about like the internet, it's usually measured in bits. However, if you want to talk about uh, storage, you more often talk about bytes. So for instance, if you buy a hard drive, it's typically measured in bytes. So you have one terabyte. You could say it is eight terabits, but that would be bizarre. People would be confused and it's just not really sort of how it works. So they are equivalent, but they're used in different places. However, since surveillance spans both working and storage, Sometimes people use one of one and sometimes use the other. You just need to be aware and careful that you're referring to the right one and you are agreeing that you're talking about bits or you're talking about bytes. Thank you.